Hello and welcome to our vi welcome to this video on our third experimental design and this is a specialized block design okay and this is if it can be done this is our best method if it can be done okay so this is a, it's, it's basically a match pair it's just a specialized block design it's sort of similar to what we did before but it's just a little bit more precise okay so we have two setups for this design the first the first way we could have a match pair is if we c compare two treatments on one experimental unit okay and the block is the one experimental unit the second way is okay is to do a match pair is to compare two treatments on two very similar experimental units the block consists of those two experimental units. So so let's talk about this one for a sec. There was a question um, on the AP exam which said we had a hundred subjects okay and we were comparing uh, a new mosquito repellent with the old repel okay and, and then it said basically design this this system okay of how we could compare the new repellent to the old repellent and what they said was they had they had these bins okay and then they had this hole in it these containers and they had two holes in it okay and they put a hundred mosquitoes okay they put a hundred mosquitoes in these things so 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 let's look at a completely randomized design and show you why this might not be bad or might, might not be that great so if you take 50 people okay and put the new on there you know randomly put the 50 people in there and you put the old there and you had them come and put their arms in here so what we what would be measuring is the average number of mosquito bites for the new and we'd measure the average mosquito bites for the old. Okay, they'd put their arms in here for a minute. Okay, they put the new repellent on the arms and put both arms in here and then measure. And, and then these 50 people would each go in there and put their arms in there and measure the old. So, so the problem is, is, is maybe you guys could, could see is, well, these 50 people right here, these 50 people, um, a lot of them may respond differently to the to the mosquito bites. Some people don't get bit just by whatever, you know. They just some people. If you've been out camping or something, some people tend not to get bit, and some people get bit more than often. Okay, so that's a that's a factor that's not really being accounted for. You know, we hope when we randomize. And we're hoping randomiz randomization takes care of that problem, but it's still a problem, okay, where where I could get 40 of these people who just don't get bit, and in here I might only have 10. So so the new might be have less mosquito bites just, just by chance because you just happen to get more people in there that tend to not get bit. So how can we prove on this? We could maybe block on um, skin tone, okay, so that would be the regular blocking Okay, so you cr create these these groups, but these blocks um, on the skin tone, and then you give each one the old and the new, old and new, and old and new. But even so, th there may be some some people with uh, a certain skin tone that you know it may not be the skin tone that really affects them because it's more of the blood so so this would be the best design okay so you take a person okay we have a hundred people and what we want to do is we want to randomly put either the new on the left or the old on the right or vice versa so what you do, you have to randomly assign these. You can't just say, okay, the first three will get new on the left, old on the right. You have to flip a coin. So we'll flip a coin. If heads, 
okay the right gets old if tails the right gets no okay so get practice and then you want to repeat process for all subjects okay so that's how you randomly assign get get used to doing that pay very close attention to how I did that now what happens is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the number here I'm gonna get the number that's not an X bar that's just an X the number for the old and I'm gonna get the number for the new this is the number of mosquito bites and I'm gonna compare so I'm gonna compare okay so you're being compared to yourself that's like the best way ever you know here you're comparing this group with this group and this group with this group even though each block is similar this group with this group I mean that's better here you're comparing these people who have a whole bunch of differences a whole bunch of variability within the group but this is the best method because you're comparing everybody amongst themselves okay you get the X new you get the X old and you compare okay and you do this for all hundred people okay and usually when we compare we find differences so we'll actually have a hundred differences a hundred differences which later on we'll learn how to do statistical testing on that which is a whole bunch of fun okay so that's one example of a match pair I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you a few others that have been used in the past on another video and then we'll do one more video about some more key terms and then we'll be done with this chapter so thanks for watching and have a nice day